Ben Stewart here with PopularMechanics.com and uh, we're at the LA Auto Show at the Green Car Ride and Drive where we have alternative fuel vehicles that we can actually go out and take a ride in. And I'm here with uh, Wally Dubno with Quantum Technologies. Now they've converted a Toyota Prius to run on hydrogen, but it's not its not all hydrogen, right? It's, uh, it's hydrogen electric power. Right? That's right. It's still a hybrid vehicle like Toyota produces. All we've done is take control of the internal combustion engine. It is now we've removed the gasoline fuel system out of it and converted it to run on our own quantum designed fuel system. It runs on hydrogen gas, so it is a hydrogen internal combustion engine or H2 ICE as we call it. Uh, Quantum's done a complete conversion of the vehicle in conjunction with the South Coast Air Quality Management District here in Southern California. Uh, the AQMD was trying to trying to generate some demand for fueling stations and the fueling infrastructure that they're trying to trying to get into place here in California. So they came up with the idea to convert the Toyota Prius over um, to run on hydrogen gas. The, now it, it, it runs on, um, on on gas, so you have two, uh, what, 5,000 PSI tanks? Yep, there are two 5,000 PSI tanks inside this vehicle holding about 1.6 kilograms of hydrogen total. And where do you locate those uh, tanks? Those tanks are located in the exact same spot that the gasoline tank was located in originally before it was removed, underneath the, the, underneath the back seat of the vehicle. Really smart, so that uh, the crash uh, integrity of the vehicle and, uh, and all the engineering that Toyota already done with the vehicle, it's, it's pretty much uh, within the realm with this. Absolutely. Absolutely. We've well. certainly taken advantage of Toyota's engineering that they've put into the vehicle, and this vehicle itself has been crash tested to FMVSS standards as well. Uh, rear, side, and frontal impact testing with our fuel system inside the car. Um, all tests obviously passed successfully. Um, so the car runs very similar to what a standard gasoline car would run. The only difference being you're emitting water out of the tailpipe instead of the smog generated by burning gasoline. Now the big question, what kind of range do you get with a vehicle like this? This car right here has two tanks in it, and it gets about a 75 mile range right now, total. We have another vehicle, we've developed an extended range package, which has three 5,000 PSI tanks in it. That vehicle's getting right around 105 mile range. Great. Well, shall we go take a ride? Let's go. All right, cool. Oh, it's a little bit louder. It's a little bit louder. The uh, When you convert the vehicle to run on hydrogen gas, you have a substantial horsepower drop from the vehicle. So what we've done is added a turbocharger and an intercooling kit to the internal combustion engine to bring the horsepower back up to what a gasoline engine would have. Um, really? So it's, a the, so it's a turbocharged, intercooled, intercooled hydrogen electric hybrid. That's right. That's a mouthful. That's right. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. Go ahead and hang it right here. Um, the performance of the vehicle, very similar now to what a gasoline Prius is. Um, ho total horsepower is about 10% less of the gasoline version. Um, These vehicles are being rolled out as kind of a demonstration of what the technology is today, what technology is available, uh, what you can do with a platform vehicle. Um, Quantum did this entire conversion project without any support with Toyota. Um, actually, just follow that. Okay. That's a fuel cell car right there. Go ahead and yep. just follow him. Um, yeah, Again, it accelerates, uh, accelerates just like a Prius, yeah. actually, a regular the, Prius. The engine runs a touch louder than the gasoline Prius. That's the turbocharger kicking in. I'll uh, just go straight down here. I'll show you the route. I didn't think he was going to turn in there. Go ahead and turn right behind that black car there. I heard a big shush. That's the uh, wastegate. That's the, exactly. Yeah, that's right. the wastegate opening up when you took your foot off the accelerator pedal. What kind of money are we talking about to, to do a conversion like this? Um, in addition to the base vehicle, the Toyota Prius, uh, it's about 10% of the cost of a fuel cell vehicle. Those are running between a million and a million and a half dollars today. So we're down below six figures to convert one of these and get it on the road. Wow. That's still so, kind of pricey, but a lot better than a million bucks. Right. So you can get a fuel cell car or 10 of these. Um, and again, these are being rolled out as demonstration projects, people trying to do hydrogen projects, get hydrogen fueling stations up. Go ahead and hang it right. Uh, we're, we're working with them in support to try and get the vehicles on the road and create some demand for the fueling infrastructure that uh, Governor Schwarzenegger has demanded by 2010. Um, what we're also doing is we have about 50 of these on the road worldwide, um, including Europe and the, as well as the east coast of the United States here. Um, and we have demand coming in for this platform all over the world right now. Where can we go? Let's say we owned one of these, uh -huh. and uh, in the current state of uh, of uh, the hydrogen economy right now, uh -huh. where could I go to refuel this? I mean, I know there's a few refueling stations here in LA. Right. Um, are they in big industrial complexes or? Uh, 
uh, are they are they sort of fixed with, uh, with about, gas stations? It's about 50-50. There really aren't many associated with gas stations right now. Um, Governor Schwarzenegger is demanding 125 stations by 2010. Uh, his intent is to build them alongside the major freeway arteries throughout Southern California here. Right. Today we have about 24, 25 stations up and running. Um, go ahead and hang a right onto Figueroa. Mm -hmm. um, most of them tied with OEM level projects going on right now. Um, but there will be very soon a fueling infrastructure to support local area driving. Um, long range driving throughout the state of California, probably going to come another two or three years away and we should have a infrastructure good enough to support um, some pretty substantial trips throughout California with your hydrogen powered car. What did you have to do to the uh, motor to allow it to uh, run on hydrogen? Let me pop the hood and give you a little tour here when okay, we get yeah, out of the car. Um, the gasoline system inside the engine has been completely removed. Um, what we have here is a gaseous fuel rail right here feeding hydrogen fuel injectors into the engine. All of this designed and built by Quantum Technologies. Quantum's custom intake system. This is an intake tube running down to the turbocharger that's been added. The turbocharger sits down behind the engine, feeds the intake pipes. So you have a turbocharged, intercooled engine with a gaseous hydrogen fuel designed intake system. Um, also the timing, things like that have been changed to adapt over to running hydrogen instead of the gasoline. Um, in addition with the uh, engine control system is designed and built by Quantum Technologies down in Lake Forest, California here. Um, all of that, we take control of the internal combustion engine. Um, Toyota's hybrid synergy drive system that comes with the car, still intact. We do not touch any of the drive systems or any of the safety systems on the vehicle. All of that is still, still controlled by Toyota. All we do is take control of the internal combustion engine, which in this vehicle is actually a secondary drive system behind the synergy drive system. And that's all Quantum takes over and we add the control systems to do that.